Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to start dreadlocks with long hair. My hair is about 14 inches and I do have a high top fade of just long curly hair. If you guys do remember, I actually used to have dreadlocks, so it's gonna be pretty interesting restarting the process. But in today's video, I'm literally just gonna pull my hair down, wet it really good, and then I'm going to get my sections and then twist my hair with my fingers. I don't believe I'm gonna be doing comb coils today. I'm mostly just going to be using my fingers. And to tell you the truth, I'm not gonna be using any product, but if you were to use products, I would recommend using the Jamaican Mango and Lime Locking Gel. And the reason I'm not using products is because my hair as long and it's gonna hold a little bit better than if you were to have you know shorter hair with shorter hair you would typically want to use a lock-in gel and my favorite overall is the Jamaican mango and lime which I'll link down below but since we're talking about the products I'm using I'm also going to be using this spray bottle now this is my favorite spray bottle just because it like sprays really long so it gets a lot of coverage and I'm also gonna be using a rat tail comb. And I like this one because it has a metal tip at the end of the comb. And this is for me to get my separations and possibly do comb coils with this if I'm not doing finger coils. But both of these will be linked down below as well. And that's basically all I'm gonna be using. But like I said, you would wanna use Jamaican Mango and Lime Locking Gel if your hair is a little shorter. I mean, you can't even use it on longer hair, but in today's video, I'm gonna do it without using any products. So say you wanted to start today and you didn't have time to go to the store or order any product, or you don't even have the money to do it, you could honestly just use the product that I'm using in today's video, but I would definitely recommend with shorter hair, use locking gel, or if you want it to start working immediately, use locking gel. So right now I'm just gonna take my hair down. Also wanted to mention my favorite hair ties. These are thicker hair ties and they work really well. I'm gonna link these down below as well just because they're my favorite hair ties and I always get these ones. So this is what my hair is looking like right now. It's pretty messy. Washed it a couple days back. I actually went swimming in the ocean not too long ago as well. But you can see how my hair is really curly right now. It looks actually pretty interesting if it wasn't as frizzy. But I'm gonna go ahead and take my glasses off so I don't get them too dirty. Then I'm just gonna start out by wetting the hair and then gathering my sections. So the biggest thing you wanna do is just make sure that your hair is fully saturated and you don't have to use a spray bottle. You can like shower and wet your hair, but I'm just doing this so that I can show you guys on film. So now that my hair is wet, I'm running my fingers through my hair. My hair is detangled. It typically stays detangled as long as I detangle it and then pull it up. But you definitely don't want your hair to be super tangled up while you're doing this whole process because it's gonna be hard to get your sections and then at the same time, it's gonna be hard to even twist the hair if it's combined with all this other hair. I'm just gonna get my center part. And when I'm doing this, I'm not trying to get like perfect sections because I don't like, I mean, when I had my dreadlocks first, I didn't have perfect sections and I like the way that looked. But a big pointer is that your dreadlocks are gonna be sectioned however you section them the first time. But if you combine dreadlocks, then it will look different. But however you want your sections to be, this is how you make them right here because they typically don't change after you have established the dreadlocks. So I'll go ahead and get the center one real quick. Now that I got the middle section out of the way, I'm gonna start doing what's called bricking. It's where you stack the sections as if they're bricks so that they lay down flat versus stacking on top of each other. So I'm gonna do each side by themselves. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this side up. Now that you have this side to work with, it's gonna make it a whole lot easier to manage the hair. I'm just wetting the hair again so that it stays saturated. Okay, now I'm just gonna get this first section. I'm gonna make pretty decent size sections. And with this first one, you have to follow your hairline. Follow it all the way down to where your hair stops. Okay, so you can see where I have this section off right here and it matches my hairline really well. So I'm just gonna brush through it really quick. So now that I have this, I'm gonna go ahead and do two sections right here. To tell you the truth, this is gonna be the longest part, especially with maintained dreadlocks, is just getting the sectioning. So like, that's gonna be the longest process. So now that I got that, I'm just gonna gather all of the roots and make sure to comb them out so that all the hair is in there. All right, now that we got that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna twist all of these clockwise. I'm just going in and literally just twisting. 
And like I said, I would do comb coils, but I actually just want to do these with my fingers. And this is going to hold the separation very well. Yeah, so that's what that's going to look like. And this does just typically look like a finger coil, like if you were to do finger coils or comb coils even. What happens during the dreadlocking process is that this hair will bud up and then it'll start to tangle and then it'll lock up. So it's a whole process of getting coiled up, budding up, and then locking up. So it's a three-step process. And it takes a couple months for this whole process to take place. But at the same time, if you wanted to, after doing this, you can immediately go into crochet hooking and I have a crochet hook right here. I'll leave a link to a crochet needle down below and I use a size 12 over 1.00. After you get your section like how I did right now and did a twist, you can go in and instantly lock up your dreadlocks. But if you wanna enjoy the process, just go ahead and leave it like this and then just make sure that they stay in their sections. Now that I got that one, I'm gonna start on the next one. And you want your hair to be slightly damp so that it can hold since you're not using any product. But if you are using product, obviously you wanna make sure that it's damp as well and then apply the product mostly at the root then distribute it throughout the length of the hair while you're twisting it. But now that that's damp, it should hold it in really well. You can see how this one's holding. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start with this one. Because I'm literally just literally wrapping my finger around it like this. And I'm just doing it over and over again so that it tightens up. Just try it your best to not pull in any of the other loose hair in. One way you can do is like do the twist and then grab it with your opposite hand so that you can keep that twist and keep it tight. And you want it to go all the way down to the root as tight as possible. And like I mentioned earlier, if you have locking gel, I would recommend you use it, but if you don't have it, it's not necessary. Mostly because these will hold a whole lot better. All right, so there's those two, and it's gonna look a whole lot better after I finish up with everything. So I'm just gonna repeat this whole process with the rest of my head. So I'm gonna go in and get my section of hair. Okay, so I got that section of hair out. Throw this back again. Now in this tutorial, I'm showing you how to start your dreadlocks with basically using no products whatsoever. But another product that you can use that will help out a whole lot with this process is using duck clips. And duck clips will basically hold the roots together. So like with the two that I already started, if I were to duck clip those together, the roots would hold a little bit better. And it would have a better result in the end. But if you're not using any products, like I said, you can just do it how I'm doing it. and You'll be perfectly fine. You just gotta be patient. I am gonna pull back this extra set of hair just because it does kind of get in the way. Okay, so I was gonna go ahead and brick this section, but I'm actually not. I'm gonna do two dreadlocks with this section as well, but I will go over slightly so that they are even. Now to start the twisting process again. One thing you want to be aware of is like, however you twist it and however you lay it down is kind of how the dreadlocks are gonna lay for a while. You can see how these ones in the front are hanging down forward. And that's just because of how I laid them down. Now it's time to just keep on working my way back. I think I can make two or three more sections with this hair. Okay guys, I finished the right side of my head and you can see how it looks. Now one thing that you'll notice is that you can't really see the sections too well and this is what I'm saying about using products. If you use Jamaican Mango and I'm locking gel, it will help you get that section a whole lot better and it'll be more visible at first. But one thing is, is like these are all gonna lock up the same just as if you were to use locking gel. Locking gel is one of those things that's not really a permanent solution to locking up your hair. It's one of those things that temporarily holds your hair so that it looks good over the time of you getting your dreadlocks. But if you use no products, your hair will naturally lock up a whole lot easier versus having buildup and anything like that. But if you want your hair to appear to look a lot better during the whole process, then use locking gel. And I would recommend using my favorite, which is Jamaican Mango and Lime Locking Gel. But you guys, I'm gonna finish this side of my head and try to even it out. And then I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's completely finished. 
Okay guys, I just finished doing all these starter locks and I'm not gonna lie, they look really cool. Reminds me a lot of when I had my dreadlocks, so it's really cool seeing my hair like this. And I think it's even better now that I have the tapered hairline. I think it just ties everything in a whole lot better. And like I said guys, um, they are pretty messy, but the good thing about it is like dreadlocks over time, it's like it, all it is is just your hair knotting up and then locking together. So if it looks messy or if it looks frizzy, that all is going to tighten up over time, especially with being patient. The main ingredients to dreadlocks is being patient. I don't care anybody tells you, if you plan on having good looking dreadlocks, the best thing to have is patience. One thing that you notice is that the dreadlocks appear very thick. And I'll be truly honest with you is I, I think these are gonna turn out really well as long as you allow them to lock up because eventually these will lock up and they will be tighter, they're not gonna be as thick. And I'll break down the process to you really quickly on how everything's gonna lock up. So we'll take the tip for instance. You can see that it's still just a curl and it looks like just a comb coil or a finger coil. What's gonna happen is this eventually is going to butt up which basically the hair kind of separates and then it's gonna start to compress then it'll lock up and then blunt off the tip. And eventually it'll work its way all the way down to the root and that's how dreadlocks lock up. They lock from the tip all the way down to the root. So that's a huge pointer on doing crochet hooking. If you were to crochet hook your hair, make sure you start from the tip, work your way down to the root. And like I said earlier, you can take a crochet needle to this right now if you would like to and get instant dreadlocks, but it just depends on what kind of dreadlocks you wanna get. If you wanna have dreadlocks that look maintained and coiled up, then stick with this and just wait a couple months and then it'll start to eventually lock up. Or if you want to instantly lock them up and you don't really care what they look like up close, Go ahead and finish off with the crochet needle and your hair will lock up really fast. But here's a quick 360 and I'm super stoked on how this looks. It actually looks really good. I'm gonna pull it up for you guys and show you what that looks like. So this actually looks pretty good. You know, I mean, they're all pulled back. And then one thing I can notice right off the bat is that these are gonna shrink a whole bunch just because they are coiled up. So if you want to eliminate that shrinkage, I would recommend going in with the crochet hook right after this. But if you don't really care about all the shrinkage that's gonna happen, then you're gonna be completely fine. But I mean, if you look up close, you can see all the separations, not all the way down to the scalp, but you can see where they are and they are very visible, but they are all the way down the scalp. And I think I'm completely fine with that. And the cool thing about this is now that I have the sections, I could go for a semi freeform look and just allow them do whatever they want right now since they already are sectioned off. And to tell you the truth, like up close, these look like faux dreadlocks. Like they look like they were just installed, but it is just my hair coiled up. And they're actually standing in really well, as you can see, I've been pulling it up and pulling it down and it stays in. And it's just how I mentioned in the beginning of the video, since my hair is longer, it's gonna have a better hold just because there's so much more length to the hair. But if your hair is shorter, it's gonna be hard to lock it up if you don't have any gel. So you guys, that's today's video. Hopefully you guys really enjoyed it. Hope you're looking forward to this whole little series I'm doing. Give you guys a quick another 360, show you that it's still okay even after pulling it up. But I will tell you this to encourage you, just be patient through the whole process. Enjoy the way your hair looks today and be okay with it. Don't worry about what other people think. Just know that the end is gonna be better than how it looks at the beginning. But the biggest thing is just to enjoy your hair how it looks now because it's gonna look what people like to call ugly or it's gonna go through an ugly stage. But an ugly stage is all based on your perception, what you think of yourself. So hopefully that encourages you. Hopefully this tutorial helped you all out on how to actually start dreadlocks with longer hair. But I would recommend using the Jamaican Mango and Lime Locking Gel. And also, if you wanted to get instant dreads, like I said, you can use a crochet hook. And all the products that I'm mentioning or that I used in this video are gonna be linked down below and are on greatlocks.com. So be sure to go check all that out. Other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully you guys do have an amazing day. Matter of fact, have a great day. Peace out and God bless.